All right, so we got the expression that we're going to simplify as 2 times the log of x plus the log of t. So a couple of things here. One, we know that we have a logarithmic property that says the log of base a x plus log base a of y will combine into log base a of x times y. So that's really nice as long as we got the same base, and up here we do. There's no base written on these two, so they're assumed to be base 10. Uh, the problem is, with this is out front, in front of these logarithms, there's nothing written. Um, so it's understood that there's a 1 in front of them, whereas our first log up here has a 2 in front of it. So we're going to use a different property to start with, which is, um, let's see here, b times log base a of x. So if we have a coefficient from the logarithm, we'll move it in as an exponent. So log base a of x to the b. So we're going to take this 2 out front and move it in as an exponent. So we'll do this in two steps. So we'll have log base 10, which is understood, of x squared plus log of t base 10t. So now it's ready for the, the property where we can go from addition of two logs to multiplication of their arguments. So in combining this statement, we'll have log understood base 10 of x squared times t. So log of x squared t um, would be our final condensed version. Thank you.